It's almost been a week since Mac Miller passed, and he was very close to the TDE family with uh, Kendrick Lamar and everybody, and they've been kind of silent since it happened. I mean, it's shocking. It's shocking to me. It's shocking to everybody. I mean, Mac Miller has been putting out music for eight, nine years, only 26. He started really young, and then, uh, you know, he just passed, you know, I guess the people around him, he was so good at hiding, you know, we'll get into that in a minute, but he was so good at hiding his pain that nobody saw this happening. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to run ads in the channel, Jordan Tower Media, gmail.com, leave comments below. I read all the comments, even the hate, believe it or not. Anyways, we got Kendrick Lamar reacting today. I guess he went on that uh, late show with Peter Rosenberg, and he said uh, he was a great musician, great writer. Just always had a smile on his face. No matter what he was going through, he didn't make you feel sorry for him. You know, he was strong about it. Always kept a smile on his face because he wanted you to smile too. Uh, no misery loves company with him. He showed a smile, gave you a smile right back. It made you feel good. So forever we're going to remember him. The, the life we're going to remember is that smile. Celebrate a Mac Miller love. You know, it's been hard. You know, you're watching music videos of Mac Miller and they all have like a real genuine feel to them. It's not cookie cutter music. Some, you know, very rarely you would make that. He would, a lot of his music had substance, real feeling to it. And that's why we like Mac Miller. You know, I saw some clip, I forgot. Wiz Khalifa was so savage on Mac Miller. Like, you know, they came up under Rostrum Records, which was out of, you know, uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, it was Pittsburgh area. And, you know, they used to be tight, but then I guess they had a fallout. So Wiz Khalifa did an interview, I think, last year. And he just, like, when Mac Miller got up, he's like, oh, I don't speak to him anymore. You know, once people, we don't talk, it's over. You know, and I, I can understand, like, you know, Mac Miller had a lot of issues that came with him, you know, with, like, you know, addiction and everything. But, damn, man, like... <laughs> I don't know what happened there, you know, but Wiz Khalifa was really just push off with Mac Miller. And honestly, Mac Miller was one of the most genuine people. You know, I don't know about Wiz. I mean, he appears to be, but you know, I've heard a lot of things about Wiz. But anyways, uh, you know, we'll celebrate Mac's life, man. Uh, 26, didn't even really... I, I can only imagine what his mother and his father are going through and his grandma. It's just sad, man. Uh, really, it makes... I actually teared up yesterday, you know? Because, like, it's just not... It's sad that, you know... It, 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 Russ is right about these these drugs, man. They're, they're bad, you know? And it, when people take these kind of drugs that kids are taking, it messes with your... Uh, it messes with your chemical balance. You know, very, it will set you on a roller coaster. I've never been on them, but I've known people that are on them, and it makes them bipolar, you know, almost. Anyways, guys, let's celebrate Max Life. It's George Tower JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to run ads on the channel, at gmail.com. I appreciate you guys. Leave comments below, and I'll check you later.